Marketing is really all about communicating who you are as a brand, what you stand for, and what you want to be known for. Today's project is a really great way to use a simple social media video to plant that seed, to tell people what you want them to know about your brand, in a way that plays on the power of search and social proof in a really fun and engaging way. And we're going to do it with style, just using Canva. Today we're going to create a social media video to promote a coffee shop in London. We want to position this coffee shop in a specific way and make sure that we communicate what makes it unique and special. We're going to start with a simple vertical video in Canva. The first thing I'm going to do is just change the background of this video to a darker background. Next thing I want to do is add an image to start the video off and it's going to act as my background. So I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to search for coffee shop and I'm going to find one that appeals to me and my aesthetic. I'm just going to bring that in to this canvas and I'm going to make sure that it fits. Now to make sure that we attract attention as soon as people see this video I'm going to do two things. The first is I'm going to click on this image that I've put in and I'm going to click on animate and I'm going to choose the neon animation on enter. And what that means is that as this image enters which is going to be the very first thing on our video it's going to flash a little. And the idea behind that is just to break people's attention from scrolling and to get them to notice it. The second thing I'm going to do is after it's been on for a second or two I'm going to put in a little notification bell and I'm going to do that by going to elements and searching for notification bell and then I'm going to filter by animated look at all the graphics and choose the one that I want. So I'm going to put in the animation bell and a circle around it and then I'm going to group them. And that's because I want to animate them as well. So for them I'm going to click animate and go to pop so it just kind of pops in and highlights that the bell is ringing and I'm going to then click on the three dots choose my timing and adjust that so that the bell comes in a couple of seconds after the image so that we just have two ways of attracting attention. We have the image flashing and then the bell's going to come in and later on we're going to add a sound effect to that. The next thing I wanted to do is to add a new slide and I'm then going to click on the image I'm going to edit the photo and choose the blur tool for the whole image and I'm going to blur the background for this next slide. And that's because we're going to add this little frame which is just a simple box choosing to use the corner rounding option and then I've created a little search bar. This search bar that I've created consists of a rectangle, a magnifying glass icon and an arrow icon. But the easier way for you to get something like this would be to just search in Canvas Elements Library and search for search bar. If you have a look at graphics, make sure that you're not filtered by animated. You'll see that there are dozens of options and you can use any of them depending on what suits your brand. The next thing we're going to add are the words that we want to pretend someone is searching for to find us as their result. Now this is where we play on the idea of search terms and we also tell people what we want to be known for. So for this particular coffee shop I want to use the keywords Japanese, minimalist, coffee shop and London because those are things that make this stand out from all the other coffee shops. I'm just going to add those in as a text box, minimalist Japanese coffee shop London and then what we're going to do is we are going to add an animation to that text box so that it comes in after a couple of seconds in their typewriter animation. So it looks like someone is actually typing it in to a search bar. Playing on this idea that we're actually watching someone type this in, I then want someone to click the search button. And the way I'm going to do that is by going to my Canva elements again and I'm going to search for mouse pointer and I'm going to use whichever graphic appeals to me. I've just used this simple mouse pointer and if you have a look at the timings in the timeline here you'll see I've only made it come in once that coffee shop text is already there then the mouse button is going to come in and then what I've done is I've added a pop animation on exit. And the reason I've done that is because the pop animation makes the element reduce in size a little then increase in size a little before it disappears. So it almost mimics what this would look like if you clicked with a mouse. So you can see as I click and drag the size reduces and then increases giving this impression of a mouse click. And then once that happens it disappears. So that immediately creates this feeling of interactivity mimicking what someone would actually do if they were searching for an item like this. Now the next thing I want to do is again to play on this idea of us watching this in real time. And the way I'm going to do that is by just searching in elements for a loading animation. And I'm going to add that in as soon as that cursor disappears 
so that it looks like this search engine is thinking about this or searching for those search results. The next step is to show them the result. Now, obviously this will depend on what you're actually trying to promote here. For the coffee shop, I'm just gonna use a beautiful image of this coffee shop, but you could use product images, you could use images of whatever you're selling, your locations, anything else that you wanted to do. Something that represents those search terms and your business, so that again, we play on this idea that you are the people who are represented by those search terms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use an image of this coffee shop that I definitely didn't just take from their website, and I'm gonna then put that behind this frame and search bar. So I'm gonna start a new slide with those elements in, but you can see that animation is still at the top on that text, and I definitely don't want that there because we've already done that as a typed in search element. So I'm going to just go to typewriter and remove animation on the bottom list. Now that means that will automatically be there. The next thing is you'll see I've moved that up the search bar a little, and that's just so we've got more space here to show the search result. And we're gonna make that look really effective by clicking between these two slides and adding the match and move transition. And that then means that as we get to the end of that slide, that search bar and text will move up because it's the same element from slide to slide, but I've just moved it to the top of the second slide. So that now shows us visually the result that we want to get. But I also want to make sure that people know where this coffee shop is and make a little more about it so that people know what they're looking at. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit R when I'm on the slide to add a rectangle. I'm going to resize it so that it fits the way I want it to and I'm going to round the corners so that it's this kind of pill shape. I'm then going to make it a darker color and then I'm going to hit T on my keyboard for a text box and I'm going to type in best result. And again, this is playing on the idea that this is the best search result that was found for those terms. I'm gonna adjust the letter spacing to just be the way I want it to be. And I'm really just doing this by eye as to what looks good for me. And then I'm gonna click on those two elements and group them. And what I wanna do with these is I wanna have them animate in so that they attract attention. So I'm gonna to go to animate and use the pop effect again. And again, we're gonna use a sound effect to highlight this at the end of this process. Next, I'm gonna use another rectangle and I'm gonna just resize it so that it gives me space to put in the information. I'm going to round the corners and then I'm just going to adjust the color. So I'm gonna use an off-white for the inside and I'm actually gonna add a border with a white color so that it stands out. I'm gonna use the position tool and layers to move it behind that best result notification. And this then gives me some space to put in text, in this case, to point people to where the coffee shop is, but you could of course use it to highlight features or anything else that you wanted to. I want this to stand out a little more from the background. So I'm gonna to go to the elements library and I'm gonna type in shadow and I'm gonna just use a rectangle shadow move it behind this element and make it a little bit bigger so that it peeks out. And then I am going to use the position tool to move it right behind it. And then I'm gonna group those elements so the box and the shadow are grouped as one element. And that's so that I can animate those together as well. And for those, I'm also just gonna add the pop effect. So all that's left to do on here is to add the text in. So I've just typed this in just using fonts within Canva. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to just add a little element here that kind of implies that there's some kind of social proof that people really love this coffee shop. And I'm gonna do that really simply by just going to the elements library and searching for five stars. And then I'm gonna choose one that I like. I'm just gonna resize it slightly and I'm gonna put it at the bottom here. And I'm just gonna have that one animate in with a pop after the content. And that's it, that's really all there is to this video. The last thing we wanna do is to add some sound effects. The way that we do that is go to the audio tab and we can search for sound effects here. You can even filter by just using this little pull down and clicking only effects and it will then bring you up effects depending on what you search for. So before we have a look at the final product, if you would like to learn more about how to really use Canva like a professional and what it's really capable of, I would really appreciate it if you would go to the link that's on the screen right now or in the description below the video and sign up for my weekly newsletter. It's called Meaningful Creations and in that newsletter I let you know what new tutorials are available to you for free, what other free resources are available and I also share some of my experiences as well as highlighting creators and beautiful products all over the world. It would mean the world to me if you would sign up, join that list and become part of that community. 
So to add the finishing touches to this video, I have just added in those sound effects that I just mentioned. We've got a little ding when the bell comes in, we've got a typewriter sound, I've added a mouse click, and then we have that success sound when the results appear. And so with a little music in the background, this is what we end up with. I hope this fun little animation was useful and I hope that you experiment with it and try and make it work for your business. As I say, it's all about communicating the message that you want to put out there and letting people know what you want to be known for. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you soon.